What's up guys, Wheels here again, uh, coming back to you again with another Elder Scrolls Legends playthrough. Now, first thing you'll notice is we are on Act 2, Chapter 9, but you may also notice that these are unlocked. Unfortunately, my last recording was corrupted again, and there was just an audible hiss through both my mic and the game recording. So we're going to have to play them again, uh, but they're really cool and I don't mind doing it. So let's not take up any more time and let's just watch this intro. Ah, I love a good storm. Makes the seafaring life interesting. How about the pirates? No, they're right bastards. Treat an honest smuggler like a common merchant. There's no honor among scoundrels. So this has one of my favorite mechanics introduced so far, and they have special conditions. And instead of shadow lanes, it'll actually randomly switch creatures between the lanes. It's a pretty cool mechanic. Uh, and one of these other missions, I did unlock extra decks, or able to choose my own decks. I'm a huge fan of this Dunmer Avengers, so I'm going to go ahead and use it for this. So here it's talking about how uh, they'll move back and forth. It'll actually show you here. I stole this cargo fair and square. Let's send these dishonorable thieves into the brine. Uh, I think all of these are pretty decent. This is probably one of my favorite cards when stacked with my Zero Magicka one. Uh, it allows me to pick him as a target to die as well as take damage and i'll show you hopefully i'll get that um but i will drop this actually i'm gonna see if i can get that card that's good so there's that effect of the wind blowing him to the side which is pretty cool uh i would like to be able to and i haven't tried it yet see if i could set up like a custom match and have custom effects on these i think that'd be a pretty unique feature your destruction is at hand. Unfortunately, I think it moves back <clears throat> at the end of this turn. Yeah. So it, it gets this plus two, plus zero when there are no creatures. So it makes me spread out quite a bit. Um, Just to make sure I have somebody in both lanes, because as they switch both lanes, I'm going to need somebody there uh, to prevent these pluses from happening. She is going off in this lane. These ward effects are really, really special because they protect them an extra turn before dying which is really nice now unfortunately i don't have much i could do in the way of multi-damage here i think i'm gonna end up having to do having to drop a guard over there but i'm concerned that it may switch at the end of the turn here um that's okay Be on your guard. <clears throat> get some damage in hopefully he'll survive long enough to protect me just another round here that was actually what I was hoping, because now I could use uh, my thunderbolt or my firebolt here. Like you. Uh, take out this, take out. Ooh, I'll use it. Take him out. So I'm gonna do this to take him out, and I know he has a ward, but because this effect is three damage to a random enemy, I'm gonna attack him. He'll die because of this. Then he'll Die, hopefully deal his that. damage directly to him. Yep. A nice, easy For the effect range, there. Let us stand together. Yeah. 
I don't think I need to prepare for anything else, no. I'm concerned she's going to have an overwhelm mechanic here and flood the field with, with pirates here very soon. If I recall, that's kind of what she did. Yeah, she has these abilities <clears throat> that deal damage just to get them out. Um, which is actually super beneficial for me because I have these uh, cards that just take out wounded creatures. Come dance with death. Unfortunately, this is going to give her another rune card here. But fortunately, I don't think she has anything. She didn't have any prophecies. <clears throat> and she just ended her turn, so it looks like that will be the game. That wasn't too hard. That was definitely easier than the first time I played it. Uh, it's still a lot of fun, though. I think that mechanic, like I said before, I think adding that mechanic in would be a cool uh, feature for a custom game. And I haven't tried it, so that may be a thing. All right, let's move on to Act 2, Chapter 10. There's no sign of Lana. You think the crash killed them all? Maybe. Or maybe it was the locals. So after our wonderful pirate battle there, we crash upon the sea, uh, upon the bay in the sea, and due to the wind and all that good stuff, and now we're attacked by these Spriggans. I am going to use the Dunmer Avengers again. I think that deck is phenomenal. These Spriggans here. <clears throat> yeah, I need... I need some low cards here. That is not helpful at all. She has a lot of these drain cards. And this, I believe, was the deck where... Or the person we unlock this deck from. She has a lot of these drain cards. So effectively, she attacks me and gets the health for attacking me. Unfortunately, I have nothing I can do yet. Uh, so I'm going to have Looking to drop to this. Just to prevent... Uh, potential damage. Doesn't look I'm, like I'm lucky enough here. Man, this is hurting a bit. I'm gonna have to take this fireball on one of these. I can't I can't take four damage. Um and let them heal. Because if I do this two damage, she's just gonna heal me again, so I'm gonna have to go this route. It's not really the most ideal play. <clears throat> but it's the only play I had to prevent the extra stacking. Alright, I'm gonna actually play this here. And I'm gonna shackle that 3 1. Shackle lasts a couple turns and it'll prevent that creature from being able to attack me next turn. Um, and I'm just gonna use some more Magicka. Get that guard out. <clears throat> the reason I brought this guard out is it will summon the 2 1 when he attacks me. So it's just an extra guard for another turn. I know it was some good damage and I probably could have placed it over here, but I really needed to prevent that damage. They cannot hope to outwit me. Now, I took the damage there instead of attacking him, uh, mainly because that when he does attack me, I'll kill him anyways because he only has one uh, shield there. All 
Alright, we're gonna play this here. And I'm gonna go ahead and shackle this thing. Uh, this card gets really, really powerful. Because uh, anytime she heals, her, uh, heals herself, <clears throat> it gains that much attack. And that, that scales up really quickly, uh, especially later on when, if she gets any of the healing abilities, yeah, these drain abilities heal her every time she deals damage to herself, or deals damage to me directly, which is kind of overpowered. She is swarming that side of the field. have to take out I have to take out this because she's going to power up him every time and I don't really want to use the prophecy but I'm gonna have to here. that was an unfortunate event there I'm going to do this. Hopefully she'll attack me. She probably won't. She'll probably go in for the damage. But next turn I'll be able to take that out. I'm going to go in for damage here. I think it's the right move. <clears throat> and that's going to give her... That's going to heal her back up quite a bit here. that up. Alright, so next turn I am going to have to go in for this. Alright. Unfortunately. Because this card will only deal damage to a creature. Will not deal damage to her. I have to take off that Bog Larcher, no matter what. Come dance with death. I'm just going to go in for damage. I need to overwhelm her at this point, and I'm getting pretty close. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to... If this doesn't go crazy next turn... Oh yeah, okay, I got this guard, that's fine. Don't make trouble, Dave. For the reach, let us stand together. Next turn, I should be able to take her out, no problem. It was kind of a waste because she was just killing my creature, anyways. Ooh, that was one of its special abilities. That was pretty cool. Try to just flood the field here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I still don't have enough to take her out. She keeps healing. And what I really want to do is I want to save this till next turn, till after this attacks. If she heals, then it's game. If she doesn't heal. Or if she heals, it's not game. If she does heal, it isn't game. I don't know. The best protection money can buy. That's a game. That was pretty easy. She could have very well overwhelmed me with those drain monsters, uh, constantly healing herself. But I think I got lucky with her draws there. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the last one, Act Two, Chapter Eleven, The Rescue. Let's get started. Cultists had taken refuge in an ancient ruin, only to fall prey to its ferocious new inhabitants. I could use a little help here. So as you saw there, we finally found Lanith, and now we're approaching this cultist area. Let's go ahead and get it started. I'm going to use the Dunmer Avengers again. I'm really enjoying that deck as a great starter deck.
No special lane mechanics, just standard. Thanks for the rescue. Are all the cultists dead? I think so. And if we're not careful, we will be too. These are not what I want to start with. Hopefully I get some lows. Alright, I guess that works. I have nothing to start the game with. He has a lot of agility cards, so they like to benefit each other. Um, this goblin is a pretty cool card because it only works on his turn that he gets a plus two, plus zero. The valor of Nerevar is with me. Now, unfortunately, he's going to have a lot of pilfer cards as well. <clears throat> and the pilfer cards will allow him to get effects when he attacks me. A lot of these zero cards. I need to take out this pilfer. <clears throat> it's okay. And I need to take out this murkwalk. Hopefully he doesn't attack me next turn and he'll just attack me directly here. Wow. That is a really good buff. Definitely was not expecting that. Be careful. These right. goblins had a powerful chief with them when I first arrived. We've got to finish off as many of them as we can before he comes back. He is definitely, definitely overwhelming me. Um, but I'm gonna have to do this. <clears throat> I'm gonna do finish off here. Take him out, and I think, I think I'm gonna take out this four four here. It's a lot of cards on that turn, but <clears throat> if I wouldn't have spent those cards, it would have been super, super overwhelmed next turn. What does this do? Put a curse into your hand. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to shackle this one. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plus two, plus two her, and then attack. Um, later here. The elements are mine to control. Its ability comes into play, gives him this curse. These curses are really powerful. It effectively gives me minus one, minus one. Um, now, unfortunately. Uh, they don't affect wards, so the wards only protect direct direct damage and not uh, stuff like what he just did. Uh, what I want to do is I definitely want to get this out. I'm probably going to end up losing this one now. I don't have enough. I don't have enough health, so this would be three, three, six. Nine, eleven. Let's see here. By dawn and dusk, I move as a shadow. Let's see if any of these get... Nope. Nothing. Because I don't have more health. And I'm gonna... I have to go in for this damage right now. Hopefully I could just survive one more. Doesn't look like it.
I was hoping I would get a prophecy card here. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Oh, that's unfortunate. Looks like I'm gonna have to do that one again. I'm just gonna skip this. Let's go right back into it. No wasting time here. This is a very... I think this is a little difficult for this deck. Um, Thanks for the rest. Overwhelm mechanic here. I really need some low cards. If I don't have any low cards, yeah, that's a little bit better this time. I won't be able to overwhelm him early. The valor of Nerevar is with me. I really need to get some sort of plan put into play against him. <laughs> He's already, already swarming the field. My sword hand itches. Uh, I have to take this guard out. The nice part here is he's going to have to attack with both of his creatures if he wants to take out this guard. Uh, and this guard is a, a draw card, which is great. Hopefully I can get this firebolt. Oh, that works. From this creature. Be careful. These goblins had a powerful chief with them when I first arrived. We gotta finish off as many of them as we can before he comes back. I'm gonna do this. Be on your guard. I'm going to shackle this one so he can't attack with this, and I'm going to go ahead and take this out here. I know he gets the curse, that's okay. Oh, now it's not. You know what? Because he's super overpowering that. I'm just going to firebolt it next turn, and he's going to have to live with it. I think that's the right move. Don't make trouble, Nave. As you can see, <clears throat> it definitely gets overwhelmed really, really quickly here. Hopefully, when I play this, there's a blue on the top, so I can just Let's firebolt it right away. On the nice. So its special ability was if there's a blue or an intelligence card on the top of the deck, I just straight up gain a firebolt and use that attack him. And now we're back to square one. That's fine. That prophecy is really, really, really welcomed here. He's almost at the point where... There's not much he can we'll do, because he has no cards. So when he runs Let's out of cards, he doesn't have stacking effects. Uh, when he has a full hand, he's very easily able to play a card that stacks. Whoa. For someone, this day will be the last. Uh, that plus four, plus four is going to be really, really helpful here. Uh, mainly because it just buffs him, and I have enough cards on the field that hopefully he won't be able to do anything with. Stand fast. 
So I'm going to need to take that out next turn. Right away. I have you now. That's right. You brought this upon yourself. That's fine. I will shackle it though. Because that means it won't be able to attack even on its turn. And I have you now. I'm gonna go in for the kill. Take off. You brought this upon yourself. Stand back. <laughs> So now that this is an 8-8, if he doesn't drop a guard down, I win pretty, pretty sure I'm going to, oh, nope, got that shackle. See, as soon as he gets those cards, he's just going to be able to overwhelm me. I'm going to put this bat down, I'm going to sacrifice the bat. I have you now. And now I'm going to go Take for off. this. Come dance with death. I'm gonna hang on to these fire blooms because next turn I should be able to just at least take his his guys out. Oh yeah, it's game. Awesome. You brought this up second time's a charm on this one. It was a lot easier the second time uh, as I had a good starting hand. Lanith had learned that the cult was secretly led by Lord Narafin, the Dominion warlord who had captured the Imperial City. To bring about the prophecy, he intended to sacrifice all of the city's inhabitants. Lanith suggested they seek out the Imperial Army, then in exile in Skyrim, and warn the Emperor of Narafin's plot. If the locals weren't lying, the Legion should be. So it looks like next time we're going to go over to Skyrim and pick up on Act 2, Chapter 12, Tangle Webs. If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be spiders here. Let's take a look. I don't like these woods. This is the shortest way I know to Skyrim. But not the safest. So it looks like we do get attacked by spiders here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.